Hey, what's up, coin hunters? Welcome to a 5P uh, coin hunt with me, Richie. Right, now you might be thinking to yourself, what can we find in the five pences? And if I can just dig out in my folder, I will show you some stuff that we can find. Now, we'll be using this folder a lot late, um, for the future. So these are some Isle of Man 5Ps that have been found in past um, 5p hunts so that's the type of thing we're looking for um, anything from the Isle of Man <coughs> Jersey, Guernsey um, and so on never found a Falkland Island one unfortunately but you never know so here we go seeing what's in bag number one now there is five pounds in each bag and we're gonna just rummage through Four bags, so 20 pounds in each video. So that's <clears throat> still a lot of coins. You know, it's crazy the amount of coins that's going to go in each video. So we're going to just um, go through them, rebag them, and then carry on um, searching. So yeah, that's basically all I'm looking for. I'm not going to be um, looking at every single one in detail and oh look there's a bit of um, extra bit there um, <clears throat> because if I was to do that each video would take about 24 hours to do we're just looking for anything that shouldn't be in there really um, <clears throat> but there is some really cool designs out there um, so far we're just finding what I would say are the blander designs <laughs> Um, the UK ones um, but yeah it's time for a change I keep saying it it is time for a change isn't it guys you know our coinage seems uh, there's not much fault when it comes to a certain coinage and then in others we can't even get them out into circulation so that bag is done there was nothing in that bag <clears throat> so I'm just gonna put them in here keep it all tidy and then we'll start on bag number two there we go it's all ready to go back to the bank now bag number two so there is no guarantee we will find anything in these videos we could go quite a few videos without finding anything um, <clears throat> so you're gonna have to bear with me if we have like six seven videos in a row that has nothing and then we'll be lucky and get something else I have had um, dimes show up in the past from the US um, which was pretty cool but they were mainly in unsealed bags because where obviously people are um, just trying to make up the actual weight but I have had dimes as well in my change when I recently sorted out a, a batch of five pences that I keep in well I just throw everything anything under 20 pence 20 pence and under should I say into a uh, money box and then every so often we go change it up I did find a few dimes in there so I must have been getting them and not really paying attention in my change which is pretty cool because I actually needed the dates for my collection as well right so nothing in that bag so let's get this rebagged and then we will go on to bag number three oh look there's a naughty one I wanted to jump off not just my hand but the towel as well Right, so bag number two had nothing in it. Let's try bag number three. <clears throat> so let's make sure we keep them all in view. And we're just gonna, I think what I'm gonna do is I will pick out as many as I can of the ones that are obviously not gonna be what we want. And then we will um, ch 
check the others. Let's see this one there and there. There. So yeah, it's just patience. It's like with anything, like the 10 pences. It's patience really. Um, looking for stuff. And this is a good way like to get your kids involved in coin hunting as well. Just get a, like a couple of bags of five peas or something like that and then just look for some territories. Because they're pretty cool to keep in the collection because they're technically not legal tender so I'm not actually taking um, anything out of circulation that shouldn't really be there or that should be there. It's not like taking 50 pences out because then they're stopping other people from finding them and I like to put them back into circulation because every day there's always a youngster that discovers something in their change and then they want to start looking for all of them and if someone like me who goes through so much decides to keep stuff then it's not fair on the youngsters right final bag <clears throat> Let's see if there's any any little sneakies in here. But yeah, they are little slipperies as well <laughs> to go through. Um, <clears throat> but they are actually kind of fun. I remember when they first actually came out and I was really young. Um, how old was I? <clears throat> I think I was in primary school, probably like the equivalent of what year 6 is now, so that's showing my age a little bit, and I think, it's either that, <clears throat> between years, I was either year 6 or year 7, I can't actually remember, and I do remember um, seeing them for the first time and thinking, what, that's crazy, they're so tiny. And then comparing them to the older ones and being told by my mum that the older ones are going to be going and all of that. And then I did, I used to get £5 a week pocket money and I think that's about what the equivalent of about £10 now. And that week I went and basically got that many from the shop. I asked the guy, can I change all my £5 note <laughs> into 5 piece? And he did, which was funny. And then I spent the next week paying for everything back to that shop <laughs> in five pences. The guy thought I was crazy. I just like the like having so many coins. All right, guys. So we didn't get any territories in this one or any internationals. So we're gonna just keep on looking, keep on searching, and hopefully we come across something soon. So guys, thank you very, very much for taking the time to watch this video, and I will see you in the next one, <clears throat> where hopefully we find something. So take care guys, and happy coin hunting. Goodbye.